What's up everybody? I'm B True and today I want to talk about the fighting Matt Surrey challenge. So just recently my server, I, I'm not sure if it's every server, but my server just recently uh, has been upgraded to the cross server Matt Surrey challenge. So when they implemented the cross server arena, there were a lot of issues with it. So I was a little bit nervous about the fighting Matt Surrey. So I went in, I checked it out and here's what I've found. Uh, and there, there's pros and there's cons to this new Fighting Matt Surrey challenge, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it yet. So basically, the way that it works is when you go in there, so your first fight, uh, it's, it's pretty much going to be random. You have no idea what's going to happen. You could fight somebody really close to your level, really far away, and it, it seems to match based off of your level and not your power. And this obviously heavily favors players who pay a lot of money because they have a very high power compared to their level uh, compared to somebody who is the same level as them but free. And I'm okay with that. I mean, obviously the game, they want to favor the players who pay money because you know that's how they make their money. And that's okay and everything. So it, it matches you based off of your level. And that's okay. So like I said, first fight, you know, pretty much normal. However, if you... Depending on what happens in that first fight, so let's say you win your first fight, right? At the top of the screen for your fighting Matsuri, after winning a fight, it tells you that uh, because you won your last fight, you might be matched with somebody of a higher level than you. Okay. If you lose, it says you might be matched with somebody with a lower level than you. So as you can see in the background here, Every time that I win my next fight, I get matched up with somebody just completely out of my class. Just nowhere even close in terms of, of power and ability. And if I, if I lose, once I lose that fight, my next fight, I end up fighting somebody, again, nowhere even close to me but on the opposite spectrum whereas i can demolish them in the first turn and it goes back and forth and back and forth i mean basically the way that fighting matsuri works now is you win one you lose one you win one you lose one win one lose one and i'm only able to get four wins this way because i end up running out of characters so uh as you can kind of see in the background here what i'm doing is i am alternating my main character team with uh the other you know the other people that I, I have like my backups because that way when i'm doing that uh i can make sure that the characters that die and that i can't revive are not part of my main team so every time i win a fight i substitute out my main characters so that i have backup characters in lose that fight because I'm going to go up against somebody that I don't have to stand a chance against anyway, then put back in my main characters and crush the next person that I, I face, and then just keep going back and forth like that. Now, like I said, there are pros and cons to this whole, the way that they implemented this, and it, it's good to have a cross-server fighting monster, because then you're not just constantly fighting the same people in your server, especially as your server starts to... to die off and you don't have as many people then that kind of gets boring because it's always the same one or two people that you're fighting however i i don't believe that this is the correct way that they should have implemented fighting matsuri challenge i think it should be based off of your power and not your level because if you base it off of your level like i said there are going to be fights that you get matched in where it's just not even close. You don't stand a prayer of killing one of their ninja, let alone their whole lineup. Whereas if they match it up based off the power, you can still do you know alternating wins and losses, whether or not you fight people above or below your power. But you can keep it close. And the whole point of the Fighting Match Surrey Challenge should be that you are facing people that are close to you in power and you know you're, you're facing off with your lineups it i i don't i mean sage sage world battlefield is where like the people with the the really high power end up getting to shine fighting matt surrey should be more of a battlefield where you're fighting people that are close to you based off of your power uh the power of the lineup that they have uh set up not 
the level because like I said the level just has issues and then the way that they have the matching set up like I said I mean I, I'm matching with people who are 89 when I when I win one I'll match somebody who's 89 and he'll demolish me and then I'll match with somebody who's like 70 or 69 who has less than 20,000 battle power so I, I just I don't I don't really agree I don't really like the way that they have set this up because there are, like I said, I mean, there's just a lot of cons to it, and it really takes away from uh, the fun aspect of it. Because I know before the fight even starts, whether or not I'm gonna, except for the first fight, but I, I, after the first fight, I know whether or not I'm going to win or lose the fight before the fight even starts. That's not fun. That's not balanced. There's nothing. There's nothing good about that. Uh, and it's just. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't agree with the way that they did this. So, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. Uh, if you guys have the cross server fighting Matsuri challenge, I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this and what uh, you know. What what you guys think about what they could do to change it to make it to make it better to make it a little bit more more fair and balanced. Because right now, it's just not. It's not. <laughs> it, it, that's that's just. That's all there is to it. It is not fair or balanced because of the way that they have it set up. And I have no problem losing. I, I'm not complaining because I'm losing. I expect to lose in cross-server events because I am not going to be the best person. That's just the way that it is. However, I would like a chance. You know what I mean? Like I, I want, I want a chance to win. I want the feeling that in every fight that I go into, I have the ability to win. And that I haven't lost before the fights even started, you know. Like I, I want, I want that 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 feeling of all right. I need to pull. I need to get a little lucky here. I need to pull something out. Like let's, you know. And without that rush, without that feeling, fighting Matt Surrey just isn't all that fun anymore. Like it gets me rewards, so I'm gonna keep doing it. However, it's just not not that exciting. But anyway, like I said, I want to know what you guys think, so let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with all my future videos. That's going to be it for me, guys. A little bit of unfortunate uh, you know, topic in this video, but I wanted to get it out there. I wanted to see what you guys think about it, express my opinion. Anyway, that's it. I'm done for the day, everybody. Please have a great day, and peace.